Hello everyone, crystal lemon tart. We did crystal bread and now crystal lemon tart. It's very unique to put in your a la carte for your restaurant, even to make it for kids or adult. It's really beautiful and different, unique idea. Very jelly, very crunchy and with Italian meringue. If this is the first time to watch me, my name is Ahmed Yunis, Pastry Champion of Africa 2011, corporate pastry chef for many cruise line. All my recipe is a standard, you can make it with closed eyes. Let's start with buy dough 350 gram flour, 15 gram sugar, 3 gram salt, later on, and 225 gram butter. Later on, we added 50 ml of very cold water. This is standard buy recipe. You can make it for apple pie, for lemon pie, for many pie. It's really nice taste. It's different than sable dough, which is more easy to spread. And believe me, it's balanced dough. So you can have for sweet and sour dessert. It takes three minutes by hand and then the dough combined together. Finally, we added the very cold water. 50 ml. And now what we do, we absorb the dough. We don't mix too much. We just let the dough absorb the moist of the water. And then we'll keep it in the fridge at least two, three hours. Then you can use it for any kind of buy. You can see I just let the dough absorb the moist. I cover it, keep it in the fridge after two hours. I spread little flour, then I bring it the dough. You can spread bigger than the mold with rolling bin. As you see, you keep in the mold, you be sure that the dough is relaxed, so it not shrink. You leave it two, three minutes. After that, you dream with scissor. Try to cut over the mold three, four millimeters. So if the dough shrink, it will have the same level of the mold. Again, make sure your dough is Perfect set, side the mold. I keep it 10 minutes in the fridge. After that, you can see I try to match as you can to make it perfect. With your fingertip, just to make as you see. It's a traditional American way of buy. Here we go with the fork. Make some hole to, to easy spread the moist from or the steam from baking. With plastic film, make five layer of plastic film. Two, three, four, five. It's enough. Then you bring whatever you have, beans, you have rice, just cover the mold, make sure it takes the shape. And you fold it. Your preheat the oven 180, 10 minutes before you bake. Then we bake for 11 minutes. 180 for 11 minutes. After 11 minutes, 
While it's hot, I remove the beans and put back to the oven for another 11 minutes. 190 centigrade or Celsius for 11 minutes and my dough is beautiful golden. Here we make the jelly. One liter water, 600 gram sugar, 10 gram citric acid, 40 gram gelatin. You can use gelatin powder or you can use gelatin leaf. When water and sugar boil, you add citric acid and one gram ozo or any lemon essence. Just to boil, you remove from the heat, squeeze the gelatin, then mix it with hot water and sugar. You can say it's the syrup. Or you can buy ready-made jelly powder and you can follow an instruction. When the dough starts to cool down, I keep I feel it with the jelly. I keep it in the fridge and meantime I make the Italian meringue and that is the standard recipe. 225 gram egg white, 450 gram sugar, 150 ml of water. We start to mix, whisk the egg white to foaming and here sugar and water. I try to wash the edges so to make sure that is really clean is not crystallized so the sugar will transfer to golden color and change the Italian meringue color. My aim or my goal is to have 121 centigrade or Celsius syrup then I can pour on top of the Italian meringue. From time to time you can wash. You know the sugar sometimes is not clean. So you take all this foam out. Still from time to time I take the temperature to be sure that it's the right temperature. Now one 16, 18, 19, 120, and very critical. 121, just I remove from the oven. I pour on top the mixing of the egg white. You can see it's already double, just to pour the caramel, it's a double size. Now you can see it's very foaming, but after three minutes or five minutes, you can see the mark of the whisk that means it's ready when it's ready we feel by being back with the star nozzle you can see it's soft big and now it's ready you always keep continue mixing because otherwise the italian meringue will separate i cut my tart eight pieces or 10 pieces or 12 pieces is up to you the size. I just reheat if you have chalimo or gas torch. I cut this mold is 24 centimeters, so I cut it eight piece. I have my Italian meringue ready. I vibing the the tart. You can make different shape. You can see my video for traditional lemon tart. I will leave the link in the description box below. So I make many variety of uh, tart, how to make it very nice shaping with Italian meringue. You can see 
very beautiful.